Welcome to another course training and development tutorial. My name is Carlos. Today we're going to talk about TeamViewer and how to connect to it. TeamViewer, like I said in a previous tutorial, is a handy tool to connect to another computer remote controlling it. This will help us to be able to help you better by assisting you with problems that we might need to see your screen for. In order to connect to another computer, you're going to need a partner ID, which is another computer's ID that is marked here, and its password. If you're going to connect with us or with another person, a colleague or a family member, you do not need to be so secretive about this password because you can change it by pressing here. This password in itself will not remain the same every time. If you close the program, and we open it again, you will notice the password has now changed. This is one tool of defense to avoid having people who are not desired control your computer. Now, once you have the partner ID of the computer you want to remote control, you're going to enter it here. This is the partner ID of another computer in this lab, so we're going to see how it connects. Once it's recognized, it's going to ask you for that computer's password. It's always a four digit number. When we log on, you will see that this computer has the college training and development page. We have an option here that lets us see that we have started a session with this computer. We can enable features of that computer without using the keyboard because using the keyboard with that computer would enable the options in this computer. You can change the quality of what we're viewing, the speed. We can add a chat so that the persons hear us through their speakers and we can select a, sorry, a file transfer. Once we're done with what we want to do, we can press this X and it will exit out of the controlling session. Please keep in mind that this remote controlling is always based on the internet and not a port connection. So no matter if you have poor problems with an external computer or with your own computer, you can still select this option. Thank you for watching and have a great day.